quick video on what am I what am I going to eat for dinner? All right, so we're living in a fruit paradise here, but all of a sudden, holy cow, there isn't enough fruit to eat. So what am I gonna have? Oh wow, Jack, when you just made some couscous. That's an African dish. Uh, we just got it from um, from Africa. My family went to Africa and they uh, brought back some couscous and dates. So we have some couscous, a little bit of a uh, homemade olive oil and a vodka bottle. How to improvise, you know, make use of your uh, old vodka bottles and wine bottles and put oil in it from, of course, our trees. Always you want to start with a glass of water. I already drank a full glass of this before you eat cooked food because it's dehydrating. Got some tomatoes and what do we got here? Oh my god. That's right. Melanjata, eggplant, barbecued eggplant. You might want to clean the grill when you uh, make eggplant so you don't get any meat stuff on it. But, you know, as for being vegan, it's more of the choice than actually getting barbecued meat on your food. But clean your grill, you won't have to deal with the taste. And what do we got here? That's right, panelli. This is fried chickpea on a hamburger bun. And one of the best uh, foods in Sicily that we eat. Uh, fast food, you would call it, much more healthier. It's got a lot of protein in it. It's got the good kind of fat. Yeah, it's cooked, but you know, it's all right. Tough cooked food. We're gonna put a little lemon juice on that. You see that? Put on the uh, the mustard greens. Get your greens in too. It's always important. And the kind of lemons we got here. How do you like them lemons? <laughs> How do you like them apples? And that's what I'm gonna have for dinner right now. May have a second bowl of this. I don't know. Always get your carbs in. And I've been running about, say about, uh, I just finished up, um, we're working on finishing up a 140 mile week. The last week was around 133, 135. Yeah, in the freaking mountains. So I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to eat. All right. I'm not going to starve myself. I'm not going to be all fully raw because. We're in a little of a dead season, I call it July. Not that many fruits. The apricots are done, the plums are done, and now I'm waiting for figs that are going to come tomorrow. But most of the fruit is done, is for the uh, the spring fruits are done. Now I gotta wait for the August for the grapes, for the figs, for the, we call it mango or persimmon, you call it in English. Um, and stuff like that. Got the basil, even got some spearmint growing there. But if you don't have fruit, even in a fruit paradise, I would call it, you gotta eat your carbs. You gotta get your calories. And if you don't get your calories, and if you're not eating 6,000 calories a day, then you're gonna have a problem. All right? So, 140 miles a week. That was the plan I was trying to get up to, but I may push 150 in over mountain terrains. That's climbing t two, three, even 4,000 feet in a day of running at, you know, average 7, 30 minute mile pace. So going up the hill 8 minute pace, coming down at 7 minute pace, and going up these mountains, it's driving. So rate this video, share it with your friends, post on Facebook, and this is what you can eat for a vegan dinner. No animal cruelty. Hmm, Rooster got out of his cage again. This guy thinks he could just roam around everywhere. Eating my leaves.